Bye, Bravo. Hey guys, I'm Alvin, and welcome back to another one more week to go trip report. It's another early morning in Vancouver, and we are headed to the airport to catch our flight to Hawaii. We'll be flying on Delta today, with a stop in Seattle before continuing on to Honolulu. Our first flight is operated by an Embraer ERJ-175. Surprisingly, this is my first time flying on an Embraer aircraft, and I really enjoyed it. Early morning flights are perfect for catching those scenic Pacific Northwest sunrises, as we witnessed here. On our approach to SeaTac, we flew over Boeing Field, where we saw the many grounded MAX aircraft in storage. A bit of a sad sight to see, really, and hopefully they'll be flying again soon. Our flight to Honolulu was operated by a Boeing 757-200, which was exciting for me as I couldn't recall the last time I flew on a 757. Here we are in seat 23A. My first impression was that the legroom wasn't the greatest, and being 5'7", I'm not even that tall. I did get a nice window seat with an engine view though. Whatever you do, don't pick seat 22A, as that seat doesn't have a window. The tray table was a little dirty and stained. There's a universal power outlet down here. As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap.
we had a nice view of Mount Rainier on departure. Free Wi-Fi was available on board for messaging apps. The seatback IFE is great to have on a 6-hour flight. The screen was a bit small and was a bit laggy to the touch, but it's understandable given the age of the aircraft. A blanket is provided for those who tend to feel cold on a flight. I usually never end up using it. A quick glance at the in-flight literature. Complimentary snack and beverage service began shortly after departure. I chose to have a nice refreshing Coke, a pack of Cheez-Its, and a Biscoff cookie. Complimentary earbuds are also provided. A bit later in the flight, I ordered something from Delta's onboard menu. I got the honey maple turkey breakfast sandwich, which was decent, and a Crave snack box, which includes an assortment of snacks. We had a nice scenic approach into Honolulu as we flew over the main downtown area. And with that, we've made it to Hawaii. Aloha! Overall, the flight itself was pleasant, and the presence of the IFE makes the 5.5 hour flight go by just a little bit quicker. The timing of this flight is also great, as you leave Seattle early in the morning and arrive at Honolulu before noon, so you still have most of the day left. Thanks for following along on this short trip report in Delta's economy cabin. It's time for us to spend a few relaxing days in Hawaii. Thanks for watching, happy travels, and I'll see you in the next one.